Hey guys, so in this video, I'm going to be talking about how you can bounce back from a blown account. Yes, I'll give you an example. Let's say your account is this close to being blown. We've all been there before. I've been there before. And you know, you're just stressed and just tired. You don't know what to do. You're panicking and you know, you just want to freaking jump out the window, right? So guys, in this video, I'm going to be discussing realistic strategies that you can use to recover from a blown account or at least an almost blown account. So guys, if you're interested in finding out how you can go about bouncing back from a blown account, I suggest you stick around to the very end of this video. Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Dapu Willis, yours truly, and it is amazing to catch up with you guys. Yes, I know I have been off the YouTube for a while making this kind of videos, and this is because I have been busy with my life. At the end of the day, I am a real trader who trades real money. My job is not to always be on YouTube. My job is to actually trade the foreign exchange market and run my other businesses. However, I am back and I am back for good. Not going to be going anywhere anytime soon, I hope. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so like I was saying earlier in this video, I'm going to be discussing strategies that you can use to bounce back from a blown account. Now, the thing about blown accounts is a lot of traders don't really like to discuss this. They feel like, um, you know, if they tell people they've blown an account, they have failed, you know, nobody wants to be associated with a failure. But the honest truth is we've all been there. I remember myself many, many years ago, um, probably about seven, eight years ago, blowing accounts because I just didn't know exactly what I was doing. And the thing about blowing your account or just, you know, taking your account, for instance, from maybe $1,000 to maybe $200 to $300. Guys, your emotions start to play with you. You start feeling scared, you start panicking, you start being stressed out. You're like, Jesus Christ, what exactly am I gonna do, okay? And the truth is, this is absolutely natural, okay? I wanna tell you that you're not alone. A lot of traders go through this as well. This doesn't mean you're a failure. You're not a failure. As long as you're watching my videos, you're consuming the Dapper Willis content, and you take the Forex Mastery course, I can guarantee you that you will not become a failure in Forex. You are just going through a phase, okay? And you need knowledge. You need the skill. Once you have the knowledge and the skill, you will most likely be able to overcome this challenge you're facing at this time. So guys, like I said, I'm gonna be breaking it down for you guys. I'm gonna be giving you guys a strategy that you can use to overcome your blown account. All right guys, so the very first step is to identify that yes, I messed up, okay? That's absolutely fine. Yes, I have taken this account from $1,000 all the way to $2,000. Sorry, I've taken this account from $1,000 all the way down to $200. Now, at this point, I want you to stop looking at your account as a $1,000 account, okay? I want you guys to listen to what I'm saying very carefully. I want you to stop looking at your account as a $1,000 account because the money is gone. Now, I want you to change your mindset as to, I have a $200 account. Now I have a $200 account. Now I'm going to say to myself, okay, based on the $200 I have, um, what is my goal? My goal is $1,000, which is the original principle, right? I'm going to say to myself, okay, listen, based on the $200 I have, because the reason I'm saying this is a lot of people, because they've taken their account from one k down to $200, their risk at $200 is the same at $1,000, what does this mean? Let's say um, I have a $1,000 account and I'm risking 3% per trade, which is $30, right? So for every trade I place, I'm risking $30 at $1,000. Now, once you've taken your account down to $200, you cannot keep risking $30 per trade. Your, your risk now needs to correspond with your current account size. Okay, so this is one thing you have to put into consideration. So I have a $200 account now. 
uh, I need to cut down on my risk. So the very first thing it is you want to reduce your risk by at least 50%. So what I usually advise people to do is if you've taken your account down to maybe $200, start risking 10% of whatever your capital is at the moment, which is 20 bucks. You'll find out that um, as you start to make profitable trades, usually the way i trade i usually aim for a three to one risk to reward ratio forex mastery students you already know this i only go for trades that are minimum two to one or three to one um so once you're able to achieve trades that have a risk to reward ratio of three to one you find out that for every trade you're going to you're making about sixty dollars back and then you say to yourself so if i make sixty dollars per trade how much or rather, how many winning trades is it going to take me to go back to status quo? Now, guys, listen, what I'm telling you guys is very important. If not, you're going to fry the money. It's going to be gone. Everything is going to be gone. Now, at least you have... Do you get, I'm just, now, I'm talking about people who've blown from 1K to $200, right? Now, at least you have you have a chance, okay? You have a chance, all hope isn't lost. So at $200 now, I'm going to be risking $20 per trade and looking to make $60 to $80 back okay 60 to what 80 dollars back now i say to myself okay my previous account size was one thousand dollars how many winning trades is it going to take me to get back to status quo according to my calculation it should take me about about 10 winning trades for me to get back to status quo so now i know that okay i need 10 winning trades to get back to status quo now 10 winning trades in a row is not realistic okay forex mastery students you guys know this 10 winning trades is not realistic so what we're going to do is this we're going to go into the market and we're going to aim for two winning trades and one losing trades two winning trades and one losing trades because realistically especially for the fact that you've blown your account this much chances are that you're not that skilled and that's fine that's fine now for those of you guys who want to learn how to do this trade the market in the most profitable way possible the link to the forex mastery course is going to be down below it will literally help you solve all these blown account problems okay one of the best courses ever not because i put it together but i feel like it's one of the best programs out there so this is what you want to be aiming for two winners one loser two winners one loser and then this is exactly how you systematically grow your account back to the principal capital don't be sad don't be stressed don't be stressed because once you go into that mode of being emotional and stressed guys your brain will start to play up with you now the reason why i know this for a fact is because this has happened to me in the past many 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 years ago i'll recap this video pretty i'll recap this this video really nicely right You've blown your account from 10k from $1,000 all the way down to $200. The first thing you want to do is you want to readjust your risk profile. Once you readjust your risk profile from whatever it was, ridiculous amount. And guys, I know for, for you to blow your account from 1k down to $200, you are probably risking 30, 40% of your account. Whatever your you guys have taken your account down now at the moment. Look at your current account size. Maybe it's at five hundred dollars. Look at your current account size and say, "I am going to start risking only ten percent of this account." It's gonna take me ten winning trades. I can't do ten winning trades in a row, so I'm gonna strive for two winning trades and allow myself a losing trade. Now you can hit three winning trades in a row. You might hit four, five. But the reason I'm saying this is if you give yourself the avenue, the space okay the room for you to have that losing trades the stress and the pressure is less on you guys i'm here to talk about this shit realistically man you know we're we're not robots okay things happen okay things happen if you think you're gonna come into forex and you know be that guru who never has a losing trades lose has a losing trade you're joking it's never gonna happen it's never gonna happen except you've been in this market for a long 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 time like myself even I myself I'm right nine out of ten times if you scroll to the vi previous videos on my YouTube channel we have trades whereby we've made a lot of money and we have trades that have actually have actually hit break-even okay 
So, you know, it's, it's just the way the game goes. So, guys, like I was saying, if you want to stand any chance at succeeding at this thing called Forex or even stand any chance at reviving your account, I encourage you guys to go ahead and grab the Forex Mastery course. The link is gonna, it's just $99, guys. Stop blowing your account. On the Forex Mastery course, there's a module called Risk Management. I preach very highly. I don't care how big your account size is. Try as much as possible to stick to 3% risk per trade. It will save you all this up and down. Look at now, you most likely have to take the account size back up. It's going to be stressful. It's not going to be easy. But imagine if you could have avoided this in the first place. This is what I'm talking about. But like I said, I'm not here to condemn anybody. We're down. We need to have a strategy in place. Okay? We've got 200 bucks left. What do we do? Like I said, once again, guys, like I said, you need to reevaluate your risk profile. It's going to take you 10 winning trades to get back to the top. 10 winning trades in a row is not realistic. Two winning, two winners, one loser. Two win so when the losers come, because another thing that I noticed that really, really messes with a lot of traders' mind is... When they're trying to take their account back up and they're still experiencing losses, it can be very hard. It can be very daunting. I know this for free. It can be. It can be really stressful. But with this strategy, it's going to take me 10 winning trades. Um, I need two winners, one loser. You're allowing yourself those little roadblocks okay you're, you're you're giving yourself a little leeway for for the market to take advantage of you from time to time so guys once again i wanted to say a special shout out to all my forex mastery students for those of you guys who are on the course i want to say um i love you guys very much thank you for believing in the program i've been getting a lot of positive feedback you know from people who have never had a redraw before people that have been trading for nine ten years finally taking the course and actually starting to see the their trading accounts you know grow and not just grow make redrawals i'm happy it's making me happy and that's why i'm actually back on youtube because it seems like my teaching is actually starting to help a lot of people so guys once again there you go it's a very simple strategy i'm not here i'm not going to speak for long i'm not going to hear and blab around as to oh dude, this is this best indicator and this best strategy to take your account to 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 to, to unblow your account it's all in the mind Accept what it is. I have $200 capital. Risk profile, 10%. 10 winning trades is what I need. Two winners, one loser. Two winners, one loser. One winner, one loser. Two winners, one loser. Until you work your way all the way back up. And then you can breathe like... <sighs> and don't expect it to happen next week or the following week or in a month. Give yourself time. At least six weeks. Give yourself time. And I want to leave you guys with this little message. You're not a failure. Everybody, every professional trader has gone through this before. So ladies and gentlemen, I want to appreciate you guys for sticking till the very end of this video. My name is Dapo Willis once again. If you haven't already subscribed, go ahead and smash the subscribe button right down there. Drop me a like. And for those of you who haven't signed up for the Forex Mastery course, do yourself a favor. Do your trading account a favor. The link is going to be down below. And I'll see you guys in my subsequent videos. Take it easy and peace out. Bam!